And we're back here inside the ropes, joined by the ring general. I can't say it right, but um, the Intercontinental Champion, Gunther. First thing I want to ask you about is, obviously you were Walter before, and a lot of people were very upset at the change in name. Uh, but you said recently about how well it's done for you. Can you talk a little bit about, was there ever a concern with you with the name change? Because it was a big, big thing for people when it happened. Um, no, I wasn't too worried about it. At the end of the day, it wasn't that big of a change. It, if you look at it literally, just the first few letters changed. It wasn't even the whole name. Um, but the reaction, I expected that because whenever people are used to something, there's a change. People usually don't do well with it. I think humans in general don't do well with change sometimes. But it is part of our lives. That's the only thing that's a constant in life actually changes. So, uh, yeah, but it worked out great. I didn't have doubts before that that's going to yeah, affect my career or anything like that. Uh, so, and at the end of the day, I like the idea now of that there's Walter before, and since I'm in the main roster, I'm Gunther, and it's an updated version of what I was before. So it's like a closed chapter in the new one, if that makes sense. Yeah, it, it does. And then you know, this year at the Royal Rumble, you had a, an amazing show in, in the ring at the Rumble this year. Uh, obviously, you and Cody in there. You, how was that for you in terms of a, uh, you know, on the main roster, a performance like that to kind of show everybody what you can do? Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's great. I think that's one of the things that I'm most proud of, that I made it all the way to here with just being who I am and what I think is right to do. Like, I didn't have to adapt much. It's like, right from the get-go when I signed with WWE, the message I got was, yeah, don't change. Like, say who you are. Um, and I kept it up. I can do my style of wrestling and introduce a new style of wrestling to the audience now. And that's very well received, and I think that's something that makes me very proud. And you know, the I mean, obviously, you, you come to the main roster, you've had such a good run so far. You're on Raw, you're killing it. We've got Roman Reigns, who's the top guy on SmackDown. Have you, is he on your radar as a match with him or a program with him, something that you want to explore? Um, is, if the opportunity is there, obviously, because that's the, that's the big money match for everybody, is to be with Roman right now. Um, and deservingly so. I think he's on a never seen before a run uh, yeah he's setting records and everything so who would not want to be in the ring with him uh, just from my own perspective out I think he's not on the radar right now because he's doing his thing he's on Smackdown I'm on Raw so that's not in the cards at the moment who knows what happens if it happens I would love to do it but I think I'm closer to wanting to get in the ring with like Seth or Cody or Finn Balor, those are the guys that are like in closer reach for me. And you know, the, you've got yourself in amazing shape. Um, what was the moment and what was or the situation that made you decide to sort of completely change your physique and, and sort of get to this level? I mean, once I moved to the States, I knew the purpose for moving there is to be in the main roster at some point. So I was like, I got to bring an updated version of myself. So I'm ready, so I got to prepare. Once it's time, I'm ready. And done and I have my like I'm in a different shape as an updated version of myself and I can present it to a way bigger audience um, and the timing worked out I started like dieting early after the year when we moved over and then when I was done with it at Wrestlemania that's when they called me up afterwards so it all worked out did you ever think that when you were in the main roster people would be talking about you and the honky-tonk man in the same sentence uh, no I didn't think that <laughs> but well I get it why I would say, in ring wise, we're not in the same category, but uh, obviously, I'm gonna. But uh, once the once the streak is beaten or the, the record is beaten, I think that's done as well. Is it important for you to beat that ring? Um, well, right now, it would be a shame if it doesn't go the distance. To be honest, I gotta obviously you gotta say that. Uh, when I won the title, it was not a thing where I was like, oh, I gotta be the longest ever. Once we're that close now, obviously it's something where we're like, okay, now we, we kind of got to do it. It's like... <laughs> the idea of teaming with Damien and Rhea just seemed very, very unique. Uh, two different people, uh, different backgrounds, different ex levels of experience. Uh, and I felt like there was something to it. Uh, obviously we hadn't added Dom to the mix yet, uh, but when we did, I feel like it, you know, it exploded. Um, and it's, it's been a wild time. Um, I knew there was something to it. I didn't know uh, how 
impactful it was going to be, uh, but I feel like we've done a pretty good job.